Hi everyone. In today's video, I thought we would paint a nice um, iris and um, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be using um, some Chinese brush painting techniques but with our traditional watercolor. So I have my cold pressed watercolor paper. I have uh, two brushes um, kind of the equivalent of a number 10 and then a nice uh, fine pointed uh, tiny brush. This is probably the equivalent of like a number one or a number two ground. I also have my uh, watercolor paints which I have gone ahead and pre-wet so that they are soft and ready for me. I have my container of clean water and I have a paper towel in case my brush gets too wet or we get too much water on the paper. So let's get started. I'll be painting uh, the majority of the flower with my uh, big brush. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it in my clean water. And you can paint your iris in pretty much any color that you want. I'm going to use kind of a viol blue violet color. So I'm going to pick up some of my um, this nice dark kind of blue violet color, but I'm actually going to add a little bit more uh, blue to it because I want it to look like uh, the style of uh, a blue flag iris. So that way the uh, yellow center contrasts really well with it. So I've got my brush all nice and loaded. And uh, as I paint, you'll notice that my paper has quite a lot of texture to it. Um, you can use smoother watercolor paper if you want. This is just what I'm using for today. So we're not going to um, pre-sketch out our flowers. We're just going to have uh, some fun. So I'm going to make the, uh, the center um, petals that kind of stand upright. So I'm going to start and I'm going to kind of make one petal. And then I'm going to put another one on the side. And then we'll have another one here. So I kind of have the top of it. And then we're going to do the center bottom one, which is kind of a bigger petal that kind of swoops around. So I made kind of two strokes. And if you run out of water or run out of paint, you can always mix a little bit more. I try and have everything uh, mixed up in a large enough quantity, but sometimes it doesn't work. So for this, this side petal, I'm going to start and I'm going to push down and then swing my brush up. And I've left kind of a space for the the yellow part and I'm going to do the same thing this way. And this is kind of a big iris and you can make them as big or as small as you want. And I'm going to have, um, let's paint a bud. So I'm going to have just two little strokes there. So that will be a bud. So this is the start of our flower. So I'm going to quickly rinse my brush off and I'm going to mix up some stem and leaf color and I'm just going to use um, some green and I have kind of this earthy green color that I'm going to mix into it. Mix a little bit into it as well and it just kind of uh, dulls the bright green down just a little bit. Makes it a little more realistic. So we'll paint uh, kind of the support and then we'll just paint a line down. And for this I'm just going to use the top tip of my brush and I'm going to do that. So nice simple lines. And now let's paint some leaves. And I've picked up some of that kind of darker color or earthier color on my brush, just on the tip of it. 
and let's paint some some leaves. Let's have one kind of go up and then come down and we'll have one come this way. And if you find it easier uh, to do your brush strokes coming down, that's fine too. It just gives it a different, a different look. All right, now we have some leaves on our nice iris. So let's give our brush a good rinse. And now I'm gonna pick up some yellow. And this is kind of a, like a gamboge yellow. So it's got a little bit, or um, it's not my traditional uh, lemon yellow that I use. So it's not as bright. It's got a little bit of orange in it, which I think looks nice. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the orange there for the pollen. And I'm going to put my big brush down and I'm going to switch to this little, little brush and I'll add some details. And the first thing I'm going to do is pick up some of that purple that I had. And this little brush is great because it doesn't hold a lot of water and it doesn't hold a lot of paint. So it's, it's a fairly dry brush, which is nice. But if you find your brush is too, um, too wet, you can always give it a dab on your paper towel. And let's add some, let's add some details. And just be careful where you put your hand that you don't put it into your wet paint. I'm painting on a humid day, so things are going to stay wet longer. If things are too wet, you can always use um, a hair dryer, or if you have a, like an embossing tool, um, a heat gun, you can just dry your paper off. But I'm just gonna go for it because um, I like how these lines will blend into the, the already wet paper, and it won't be so obvious that I've put lines on top. And this is just kind of another, um, Another thing you would see in Chinese brush painting. I want to add some lines to this. And and this wasn't uh, completed, so I'm just going to complete the petals. All right, now let's make kind of a darker, a darker green, just for some contrast in our, in our leaves. And I'm gonna add a little blue and you can add you know, kind of uh, center veins to your leaves, or you can add, uh, depending on where they go, they might actually be the outline of a leaf, and that's totally fine. You can do that. And now I'm just gonna make some little, kind of little strokes that kind of go back and forth and around just to make this look like it's of in some grass and I like that color so I'm gonna go back to my big brush pick this color up maybe make a little bit more of it because my big brush holds quite a lot of water and let's Let's add some contrast. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, we painted a really simple um, iris using some uh, Chinese brush painting techniques with traditional watercolor um, supplies. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Um, and remember to click the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when I post another video. Um, if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment section below and I will uh, list all of the supplies that I used in the description box below so that way um, you can see exactly what I used. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!